guys, uh, it's Rick. I'm back for another haul video. This is everything I got in March and April. Wasn't a lot in March, so I actually held off for April because I have a lot of stuff that I picked up. I'm not getting anything else this month, so I figured this is a perfect time to do this video. We'll start off with what I did get in March. Um, when I went, to, I went to a McKay's in Chattanooga. One of the things I've been looking for for a long time is the Adventures of Superman Season 2. Now, this one, I know I can order it online, but it wasn't that big a deal. So, I found a copy of it. Pretty happy to have it. And now it completes my set. I also picked up Cinderella 4K. Uh, thanks to Movie Edge for giving, providing me with a few extra points so I could get this. And then I got a bunch of, now everything else that I've got here is stuff that I got in April, and there's a lot of it. So, let's see, let me just separate just a couple quick things. So I had an Oscar bet on who would win Best Picture, Oppenheimer or Barbie, my buddy of mine, and he lost. So, the man who invented Christmas, I now have. I love Christmas Carol films, and this is like telling how Charles Dickens came up with the story. I'm really happy to have that. Uh, another one, uh, there's a gift from the same guy. This is uh, Snow White and Three Stooges and Soup to Nuts, two early movies. Both of these are owned by Disney. We're never going to see a Blu ray. Happy to have it. And let's see, let's do the Kino haul. Kino did have a haul this sale this month. And I will give you, give you everything I got off the sale. A lot of good stuff. Let's see. Alright. First and foremost is It, the Terror from Beyond Space. Uh, it's a really great movie. It was an inspiration for Alien. It does have an alternate cover. Kind of slightly different. I'm cool with the, 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 the main one. Uh, multiple commentaries. Uh, a lot of information in here. It's really a good Alien flick. You can definitely see the Alien inspiration. Another science fiction movie I picked up was Planet of the Vampires. This is a new transfer. I, it also has an alternate artwork. I just didn't care for it, but I'll show it to you. It just doesn't do it for me. But I, I always appreciate when they do do a artwork for these. Uh, another one, a uh, science fiction flick called The Time Travelers. Saw this on television years ago, really enjoyed it. This, I, Kino has been releasing a exploitation series, uh, and I've, this is number 14 of 15, so I have to finish the set. This is called A Nudist Life, plus 10 Days in a Nudist Camp, and Shangri-La, so it's a triple feature, actually, so check that out. Huge Boris Karloff fan. And this was one I've been wanting to get for a while, I was just waiting for it to go on sale. And this is the Mr. Wong collection. Got five of his movies. There is a sixth one, but he isn't in it, so I don't care. Don't miss it. I've seen it years ago, didn't care for it. And my favorite pickup from Kino, I watched it, is the Monster Squad 4K disc. One of my all time favorite movies, holds up incredibly well great documentary on here as well if you like 80s flicks it's kind of like Goonies meet Universal Monsters it's the best way I can describe it great pickup I'm glad to have it now everything I can go to this one next uh, Disney Movie Club is closing again thanks, thanks to Movie Edge for giving me some points I did get Herbie fully loaded my daughter will get a kick out of this I'm sure Everything else here came from Amazon. 
I got Looney Tunes Collector's Choice Volume 2. I love Looney Tunes. I grew up watching them. Kind of hard to beat. Transformers the Movie 4K. I originally had the steel book of this. Now, I don't like steel books. And they released the steel book first, and they came out with the, the singles. So I got out of the box, replaced it with this, because I just don't like them. This one has been on my wish list forever, and I kept passing it up. But I had the money to get it, and I went and grabbed it, and that's the Fearless Vampire Killers. I've seen it years ago, uh, Roman Polanski uh, film. Let's see who else was in this. Was somebody else in this stuff? It, it's a spoof by him for vampire movies. It's got a, a beautiful Sharon Tate. Definitely worth a watch. This one is a Kino release. It wasn't on sale, but again, I had the cash, so I grabbed it. Pretty cheap. Only 16 bucks is Brain Donors. Brain Donors is kind of a throwback to the old screwball comedies of the 30s and 40s. A lot of, of the Marx Brothers influence. I remember seeing it years ago. I watched it the night I got it. It's held up really, really well. So I'm really happy with that. Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. Another classic. I hadn't seen it in years, but I, I do enjoy horror or old sci-fi. It's just what I, I'm into. It came from outer space. The 4K. Um, I didn't crack this open yet. But I'm um, looking forward to seeing this. It's been a very long time. We've got Man at Work, which is a great comedy with um, Charlie Sheen and Milo Estevez from the 90s. Another 4K release, Heavy Metal. Um, great flick from the 80s, great animation. I remember flipping through the magazines at the stand when I was younger. We got The Terror. Also with Little Shop of Horrors. Now, Film Masters is one of those companies that's... They're really doing some amazing work with public domain movies. And I'm so happy to have these in my collection. I bought some of their others. Loved them. Also have another one by the film masters. It's the Devil's Partner, which I've never seen, and Creature from the Haunted Sea. First time Blu-ray releases for these two guys, so that will be something to look forward to. And last but not least, this is called Stooge Arama: Men Behind the Mayhem and Even More Mayhem. Uh, there's a documentary about the Three Stooges on here. Tons of behind-the-scenes footage, of, like home videos, commercials. It's kind of like for a stooge collector like myself, uh, again, anytime I something like this on Blu-ray comes out, I grab it. I, don't, I held off on it because of the price, but again, had the cash, made it happen, it's in the collection. But that is everything I got on the movie side. It's the big, biggest haul I've had in a while, but uh, I will have a video game haul coming up soon. I'm just waiting for the rest of it to get here. And it's going to be a pretty extensive haul. Probably my last big one like that for a while. But that's all the movies. If you've seen any of this stuff, let me know. Um, as always, holler out. Or if you have a recommendation of what I should watch first. Uh, I'm up for it. Take care. Go watch a movie.